go up, have a wash, get yourself ready. Yeah. And then when you come down, you can put your jacket on. Yeah. We'll get your hair done. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It's alright? Right? Yeah. Good out. My name's Sue Hater. I'm Sam's mum. Sam has Down syndrome. And I knew as soon as she was born. I'd never ever had anything to do with anyone with disability. So I was pretty scared at the time of what was going to happen, how, you know, how I was going to deal with it, as I think any mum would be. But I soon got into it. You know, you learn as you go on. And um, by the time she was four months, the Down syndrome had disappeared, more or less. Just loved her for who she was. Yeah. Are you OK? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Good. Good eye. Down. Yeah. through from Westminster in the last few moments. We are hearing that there has been a stabbing at an MP's constituency office. Now we are hearing that this is the MP Sir David Amos. This town on the Thames estuary is at the centre of a counter-terrorism investigation. Just after midday, the Friday quiet was broken by the sounds of sirens and helicopters as police and paramedics rushed to the scene where the local MP had been stabbed. Feel good? Yeah. It feels good. That was, that was amazing. I have complete faith in the ability of music to cut through learning disability. The Music Man Project is a full time music education and performance service for children and adults with learning disabilities. Music education is about teaching musical skill. Crotchets, quavers, rhythm, melody, glockenspiel, playing instruments, signing and singing, following a conductor, the etiquette and discipline of music, performing with each other as a team, expressing your emotions through music, most of all, creativity. And I think that's part of our role, is to get out there on a big stage, to show people that musicians with learning disabilities are just fantastic. Morning everyone, lovely to see you. The reason we do these warm-ups is to get ready for performance, but it's also so that we can learn to play together as a team. <coughs> okay, you ready? Hands in the air. I have complete faith that my original music, played by musicians with learning disabilities in front of thousands of people at the world's greatest stages, can make a huge difference, not just to the performers, but to the general public, to society. The raising of awareness, understanding diversity, being patient, being kind, and looking beyond what you just see and hear. One, two, three, four. I've been so amazed at the impact of our music but I think it's because we have focused on the music for music's sake. I'm trying to find the musician inside rather than teach the disability, rather than trying to correct anything. 
And I think that's probably our greatest secret. Yeah! Thank you very much, everyone. Do sit down. Well done, Paul Dawson. <laughs> a moment of unity across the political divide. Two leaders representing a shocked nation. This morning, Boris Johnson and the Labour leader Keir Starmer stood together on a quiet suburban road in Leon C, where Sir David Amos lost his life. I really miss um, David Amos. I got a photo of him because I really miss him and because he was always supporting me through the concerts. Dad, I was feeling it was really sad. Very, very sad. It was really sad we were here. Yeah. You feel it's here? Yeah, I feel it's here. We're missing some up. He's a lovely, yeah. he's a lovely man. He's kind of friends in the world. Yeah, in the world. So David Amos was our champion. He championed what we were trying to achieve. And the greatest impact he had, I think, was to break through the glass ceiling. So Sir David, being an MP with a national profile, really helped spread the word, tell other uh, parts of the country about our work. So we are very much an example of a grassroots organisation on the ground with the students day to day making an impact. But a grassroots organisation that has broken the glass ceiling of locality. And David Amos was central to that achievement. So ladies and gentlemen, the Music Man project has taken the Palladium by storm. It's conquered the Royal Albert Hall. And as it goes on to conquer the rest of the world, there's only one place they're going, and that is Broadway. Broadway. Yeah. David Stanley is the founder and CEO of the Music Man Project, a charity based in Southend. A little earlier, I asked him about the role his members would play at Tuesday's funeral. It's such an honour. We will be performing a song that Sir David loved very much called Peace and Hope. And it will be right at the start of, of the service to sort of welcome everybody in. Um, so I think that's going to be such a, a moving moment and an honour for me and, and for all of my students.